Alright, so I'm back here today at Oshner to go to my orthopedic doctor. Um, I don't know if I remember telling y'all, the, the injections they gave me in my knee wore off after like four days. And I talked to my GP, general practitioner doc. He said, schedule appointment, come back over here. And then uh, he told me to tell them that I have pain and they need to look into it. And he suggested to tell them that to get an MRI because they only did x-rays last time. Um, the reason is because when I stand on my feet, my knees hurt like all over. Like, and that's usually joint pain. But when I sit down and I get relief from the joint pain, I still have pain. And I've recently paid attention to where that pain was because you're just like, I'm in pain, I'm in pain. You know, but I've paid attention to really where that, that pain is and it's on the inside of my knee. Where, uh, where I've always hurt my knee when, I've, uh, when I was younger and I would like twist it or something. It was always on the inside, like my knee would kind of buckle in and then pop, pop back in place kind of thing. Um, and he said to have them look into that because that could be muscle related, could be ligament related or, t or tendon related or something like that. So he said, make sure they do an MRI because, you know, yes, joint pain is one thing, but if you're having chronic pain afterwards, and I am, like, I can't go to sleep sometimes uh, because of that pain specifically on the inside of my knee. Um, so he said to go in there and tell them you need an MRI, tell them you're in pain and you need some type of relief. So that's what we're doing today, amongst other things. So they injected me. So yeah, the doctor su suggested a steroid injection of Kenalog into my knees since the anti-inflammatory didn't work. Um, I was kind of leery of that because he said last time that since I have cartilage still, that the steroid can eat away the cartilage I still have. But he said one injection won't do anything to see if it would help. I mean, if it doesn't help, it won't hurt me. But he says steroid injections for the next 10 years, that's something that could hurt me in the long run. I think his mindset is, if the steroid injections work, hopefully I'll be relieved enough to go outside and, or go out and exercise more and be more active and lose weight, which won't require steroid injections in the long run because I'll have less weight. Because he's looking at it clearly as, because he clearly seems to have this perspective that since I'm fat, that's the only solution. You need to lose weight. But even if I'm like 200 pounds, I'm still gonna have this knee pain from now until the rest of my life. Um, I asked him about pain medication, and he says, because I told him that my doctor gives me five milligrams and I have to take two of those just to feel, well not feel anything, to not feel anything I guess, is a proper term. He says he doesn't manage the pain, he doesn't, he, he treats the symptoms, not the pain, uh, which to me the symptom is pain, so whatever. Um, my doctor just suggested an MRI. Since I have pain on the inside, he says, "Nope, that's your, that's your joints. No need for an MRI." Uh, so, walk away with a steroid injection. Uh, supposedly, I'm supposed to get a call about physical therapy from the people who do physical therapy, because I should said, said, "Would that help?" And he says, "Who knows? May work, may not work. You know, I don't want to give you false hope." And I was like, "You know," and he says, "So," and he says, "He," and he said specifically, "Person of your weight, we should just, we have to throw the kitchen sink at," and it's just. Like, if I was 150 pounds, if I was 200 pounds, I would still have this pain. It may be less severe, it may be instead of five minutes, it may be an hour before the pain kicks in, but the pain would still be there, and I would still not be able to be on my feet for long periods of time. So, I don't know, just, just dismissive. This is the doctor, you know, just get him out of my office, let me move on to the next patient mentality. Anyway, I got other stuff to do. Over here in New Orleans at my friend Pedro's house, uh, he needs to talk to me about some documentary work I've been doing for him, some editing on a documentary that I've been doing for him for the past eight months. Anyway, chilling outside, waiting for him to come outside. I woke him up, had to call him and wake him up. Alright, so yeah, I just got done with Pedro eating lunch with him. Oh, but don't step in the dog, Kukar. Don't step in the dog. Talking to him about the documentary I've been working on and other film-related news. Uh, we ate at this hamburger place. I had a grilled cheese because 
wasn't that hungry. But. So when I started this vlog, I had just got fired from a job where I was a limo driver. And I thought, I mean, me and the guy were friends, and we kind of separated. Now we're slowly coming back together as friends. You know, we're, you know, we're mending things, I guess you could say. Um, anyway, this is the vehicle I drove. This is a 2016 Ford Expedition Platinum Edition. One of the coolest things about this vehicle is the, the thingies. That's so cool. So that's one of the really cool things. Also, in the back. In the back you have two captain's chairs, which is just awesome. And look at this trim, platinum. And you got the cool, huge third row back there, which is actually comfortable. And here is the man himself, the man that I got fired from, but now we're no, mid. Never got fired. He technically fired me over text. No. Nope. And if I, if I put the sunglasses on, I'm much cooler, and then and I'm more believable. And I get fired. <laughs> anyway, this is Scott Nichols, <laughs> the owner owner of this vehicle, and we're about to go see a movie or two movies. Two. Two movies. Power Rangers and Chips. Not potato chips. California Highway Patrol chips. You know what I mean. We're thinking the 515. We're thinking, which is never a good thing. So we're going our way to AMC Elmwood 20 and we're gonna go see Power Rangers. And then after Power Rangers, we're gonna go and try to see Chips, which starts like right at the same time Power Rangers ends, like right on that cusp. But we don't know where Chips is playing. And the reason we don't know is because we're, how do I put this? Surfing. Surfing, yeah, we're not gonna buy another ticket. We're gonna buy one ticket. Um, so how do we find out? When we get there, we're gonna do a little ghost recon, Tom Clancy style, and try to figure out what theater is playing Chips at 5:15. With, with a little dash of ninja. Well, nin I'm not the ninja. I'll ninja. He'll ninja. That's when it's over. I'll, he'll ninja. I'll ninja between them. Yeah. <laughs> so we gotta go figure out where it's showing when we get there before we go sit down for Power Rangers. So we have a game plan in mind. Okay, go here after Power Rangers. So we're gonna be, you know, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, <laughs> and then we're gonna, be, and then we're gonna become, you know, cops on motorcycles that look like UPS drivers. Chips. Ed Power Center, Rangers. Louisiana. That's the first Healing one. Ads, touchy Power Rangers. And lots of popcorn. At AMC, you Round can win one. free movies Round for <laughs> here. Round one. First. It's happening. Highway Patrol. Without us out there, oh, come on. What the fuck? Someone could get hurt. All right, so we saw Power Rangers, and then we hightailed it over here to see Chips. And both move. Well, Chips was just funny, like to be funny for just no reason. Yeah. Right? Where you at? Where you at? Yeah, yeah. 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 So Chips was just funny, just like as a funny movie. But Power Rangers did have its. Weirdly comedic moments. Yeah. 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 Did you just slap him? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, Power Rangers was really fun. It was a much more mature outing. Uh, very goofy. But unlike the television show, which was kind of campy, this movie was a little more serious toned. Um, but it wasn't too serious. It's like a fun movie. You go see it because it's fun. You don't go see it because it's, you know, a uh, Christopher Nolan movie. It's like Christopher Nolan esque action. And you have Michael Bay esque action, which is like Transformers. And then this was like a little bit below that. Like it really tried not to take itself too seriously. Like seriously enough that like it made sense. And as for Chips, we didn't see the first act, but the trailer for these movies kind of like give away the first act. But still very funny. Stupid funny, but funny. So that's the truck I used to, to drive. Your chariot, son. The coolest part, still. <laughs> That's the end of the vlog. <laughs>